This is a video tutorial for how to do a content app, one of the most basic things you should know how to do on the website. So first we're going to find our content app that we want to edit. They're found all over the website, so it should not be hard to find one. And now with this content app that we can edit, we click in the box and we can add new information. And if we want to copy and paste new information, we want to make sure we click on paste as plain text. And then this will turn up and tell you that you're pasting in plain text and you'll say, okay, we paste in plain text because it allows us to get rid of any funky formatting we might've gotten from the document that we copied it from. And then if you want to insert a link, you click insert link and you can choose a site on our website. If you want to link to another area of Sycamore Schools, like the forms page, you can do an email address if you're putting in a teacher's name or an administrator or anyone whose address you want to, email address you want to link. A web address is to a website outside of ours. And the HTTP is already there, so you just start with www, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then open a new window. You want to make sure it always says that because that means it'll open up a new tab when they click on that. So we don't have a web address to insert. So we're going to hit cancel, but we would usually hit insert link. And then if we want to add a picture, we click on this next to the link app, which is looks like a little picture. You click on that and then you can upload an image. You can click an existing image, which already exists somewhere else on the site, whether it's gotten deleted or you want it in multiple places. But for us, we're gonna browse and we will open this image and we will click no resizing because we'll resize later. Now continue. And the alternative text, the website likes you to add something. So you can name the picture. It doesn't really matter what you name it. And so the width, this is where the resizing will come in. All the pictures on the website are under 300 in width. So we'll put in 250 and then the height will adjust according to the width. Alignment, you can choose default, which is where it'll insert the picture wherever you left your cursor when you clicked on the insert picture, or you can align it to the left or you can align it to the right. We'll click right and we'll insert image. So this means the image is to the right of our text. Now, if you want to add a document in, you click on that button and you can upload a file, existing file, one that already exists elsewhere on the site or has been uploaded before. Now we will upload a file, we'll hit browse. We have high school handbooks, so we will open that. Continue, link text. That's the word that will have um, the link attached to it. And then the target is again, open in a new window. So we'll insert that and here you have your new link, but you cannot click on links in the back end of the site to make sure they work. You'll have to go to the front end and then click on it there. So then options, you can change the name of the app. You can change if it shows the name of the app and you hit save if you changed anything. And then usually you would hit save. We're going to hit cancel because we just added a bunch of crazy stuff to this. So save. And there you go.